Yesterday we were in here taping screens for water base. Today we're going to be taping screens for color change. So the ones that are right here on the right side get the black ink. And the ones over here on my left get white ink. So we're going to start with the white ink, clean the screen, and then switch over to black ink. Because it's easier to go from lighter to darker. So we're waiting for the screen to dry up. Running is my therapy. Once that's dry, we're gonna set it up, tape it, and then start printing the white ones. I have about three meetings at First Friday downtown, and some of them are to set up as a vendor for the following First Friday. Some of them are for new clients that are coming in, and other ones are this one that I'm doing so that I can give her her shirts because they have a run tomorrow and they need the shirts. So basically what that is is samples. She has her own thing going on and she's gonna try to sell these shirts to the guys and girls that run with her, I think. Pretty sure that's what's going on. Either way, that's going on and I hope that she sells a lot so that she can order way more than this. This is just 12 samples and it's cool. Um, we also have this one coming up in the next week or two, which is a lot of colors. So I'm excited for this one for sure. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna tape up the screen as soon as it's dry and we're gonna get rolling. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I treat this situation with color changes on garments. What I like to do is on a piece of tape, I like to write the ink color that's gonna go on the garments. So this one's gonna get black. And this is what I like to do. I fold the shirts. And then I drop my piece of tape just to not get them mixed up. And after that, I start laying the next set of t-shirts so that when I'm done printing, I know that I reached the point where I need to change the color on the screen. <clears throat> so if you guys ever have a situation with color changes, uh, I recommend that you do something like this. Or if you don't want to put them on the cart, it's as simple as putting them somewhere else, but still right on them so that you know what color is going on the shirts. So here's the big moment of truth. We're about to do this color change. And I'm using my metal scraper because it gets the most ink out of the screen every single time. So that was that with the white ink. Let's put that squeegee away. And with our 480, we're just gonna lightly hit the screen. looks good now I have some pieces of t-shirts that I cut out because I know that the shirts wipe the screen a lot better so we need to get rid of that white so by wiping the bottom of the screen and then finishing with the top we're gonna clean off the rest of it 
and we're gonna be ready to change to black. So now with a really clean rag, we're just gonna wipe off the rest of the ink that's sitting on top. And we should have a clean enough screen to not worry about anything. Check that out, you guys. That is a clean screen. So those little um, pieces of, or this little bit of white that you see around on the tape, that's why I like to tape around it because it's easier to clean it off with your rag rather than cleaning off the screen because that's when you have to come in with the 480 and go extra crazy on it. So there's another reason why I like to tape most of the screen. So we're just gonna run the black ink on the white pal on. See how it looks, everything checks out. We're gonna print the rest of the t-shirts and we're gonna be done. Okay, so now that we know that our print is safe, we're gonna go ahead and finish off these. My mom is coming to drop off my check. They stay later at work. After that, I have an appointment to get a haircut. Then we're going to Oregano's with my cousin for dinner. Then I have meetings tonight at First Friday. So I'll see if I can capture some of that on camera. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be in Tucson tomorrow. I want all of you guys to know that I'm loving all the feedback on definitely YouTube, on uh, Instagram. I send out a bunch of V23 vinyls. I gave a lot here in town out to the truck drivers and some friends and family. So thank you guys for the support. We're going to keep answering as many questions as possible. Um, when I don't have answers, you know, I definitely have the ability to get creative with you guys and show you guys what's going on either in my life or in the shop. So stay tuned, there's definitely a lot more coming. Tonight, is, it, I have a full day today. Uh, tonight's gonna be crazy, downtown Phoenix. And tomorrow I'm gonna be heading out to Tucson at four in the morning, cause I got some business out there. It's like a two hour drive, but it's all good, you know? We gotta do what we gotta do. Thank you guys, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll probably put some of that drive and check out Tucson, see how it is. Haven't been there in a really long time and I don't think much has changed anyways. So, we're checking out at the shop and we'll see you guys soon. She know. Say hi to everybody. Hi. That's it, there you go. That's Good it. job. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. No, arrivaderla. Arrivaderla.